This morning, the world waking up to what's being called the main event, night two of the Democratic debate featuring those leading in the polls and in fundraising efforts. And the more popular candidates making their case for why they should be the Democratic nominee. And here's a look at how the night played out. The first shots in round two. Donald Trump thinks Wall Street built America. Ordinary middle class Americans built America. We're clearly aimed. Where was that question when the Republicans and Donald Trump passed a tax bill that benefits the top 1%? At the man currently in the White House. Trump is a phony. That Trump is a pathological liar. The front runner is proving to be a big target. I was six years old when a presidential candidate came to the California Democratic Convention and said, it's time to pass the torch to a new generation of Americans. That candidate was then Senator Joe Biden. I'm still holding on to that torch. The candidates at times talking over one another. America does not want to witness a food fight. They want to know how we're going to put food on their table. The big focus, health care and immigration, setting up a key moment in the debate. Raise your hand if, gover if your government plan would provide coverage for undocumented immigrants. President Trump quickly posting on Twitter, how about taking care of American citizens first? That's the end of that race. The high profile candidates constantly in the crossfire. The first debates framing what will surely be a fiery campaign season. United States senators. So I'm sure it's no surprise after what we saw yesterday morning on social media that again today, hashtag Dem Debate 2 will flood your social media pages. It is the top trending thing on Twitter right now at the moment. And we're taking a look at some of the big moments. But first, we do want to ask you what the most important issues are to you. Now that we've heard from all 20 candidates, you can go to our website, WCNC.com slash vote. You can weigh in whether it's health care, whether it's immigration, gun control. There's quite a few to choose from, and we'll check back with that in just a minute. But for Right now, let's take a look at who kind of won the night as far as who dominated the most speaking time. We see right here Joe Biden got 13 minutes and 30 seconds, so I believe that was the highest from both nights. Kamala Harris, 11 minutes and 56 seconds, and then Bernie Sanders at 10 minutes 45. Not far behind him, Pete Buttigieg. But other than that, the big moments that kind of dominated the night, one was between Biden and Kamala Harris. It was this moment right here when Harris said she doesn't think that Joe Biden is a racist, but she did not approve of him having work with Secretary segregationist in the past on the issue of school busing. And once those comments were made on live TV, the Internet erupted. We saw all kinds of memes popping up, you know, people sipping tea, getting all kinds of yikes. What's going to happen next? Others saying, you know what, there's blood in the water. There's sharks out there. So a lot of people were commenting on that. But if that wasn't the big moment for you, perhaps it was this one also involving Biden, but this time with Bernie Sanders. It was when Bernie Sanders hands kind of got out of control like they sometimes do like that. And Biden wanted nothing to do with it. Yeah, trying to get out of the way. You know, so yesterday we had the side eye. This time we're having the awkward swerve. Whatever it was, Google was going crazy. And Andrew Yang not wearing a tie, that got people going crazy as well. Some saying, oh my gosh, he's so underdressed. Others like Meghan McCain saying, you know what, it's giving me life. So you decide, tie or no tie, Rob, maybe you could take yours off sometime throughout the newscast. <laughs> if that wasn't it for you, though, the top Googled candidates always gets people kind of interested because they wonder, is it because they didn't know who they were, is it because they wanted to know more about what they thought, or they were impressed with them last night? Number one, Marianne Williamson. She was up there yesterday as well. And then Kamala Harris and Pete Buttigieg to round out the top three, you guys. So throughout the morning, Rob and Carolyn, I'm sure we'll continue to see more coming in. But again, that hashtag Dem Debate 2 on top, just like hashtag Dem Debate was yesterday. I will say that. My hands get out of control sometimes. You know, too, when you're passionate, sorry. I will say this. I watched but the debate on both nights. And I'm just going to be honest, and I'm sure many of you who are watching feel the same way. I have a headache. It's a lot of noise, a lot of candidates. I think once we narrow down the field from 20 to yeah. something more manageable, yeah. we can really get into the issues. But. I think the one thing Kamala Harris said, you know, she doesn't, people don't want to see a food fight. They want to see who's going to put food on their table. Trying to tell everyone, calm down, let's talk. Let's actually talk right. about what we're It's tough for. when you just get a minute, though. So I understand That's how they were true. all fighting for the time. Yep. All right, Rachel, thanks. And